$32,000. Yes, he played Alex, whose suicide brought everyone together. Now, you're going for 64000 still two lifelines, five away from a million. Here it is for $64,000. What is the world's longest river? Amazon, Danube, Nile, Ganges. I know that the um, Amazon might have the most water in it. The Danube's in Europe. Uh, I don't, can't imagine a European river would be the longest in the world. <clears throat> the Ganges or the Nile? I know it took forever to find the source of the Nile. So I will say the answer is C, the Nile. C, the Nile. You have nothing to lose here because you're, you've already won 32,000. C, Nile. Final answer? My final answer, we just. You're right, it's the Nile. You won $64,000. Good for you. Getting up there, Nile, 4,160 miles long, just in case anybody asked you, and the Amazon, just a mere 4,000. All right, you're doing, you're doing fine, Rob. Um, uh, you'll be reduced by 32,000 should you miss it, but we're looking at $125,000 here. You've got four questions away and two lifelines left. Let's see it for 125,000. Author William Faulkner's fictional Yakna Patafa County is located in what state? Arkansas? Kentucky, Mississippi, West Virginia. William Faulkner was from Mississippi. I believe he lived in Oxford, Mississippi. I'd imagine that that's got to be the answer. C, Mississippi. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, it was Mississippi. You won. There it is. Well, three away now from the million, going for $250,000 and still two lifelines are with you. Should you miss here, you lose 93000 but let's take a look at it for a quarter million dollars. Here it is. Who was the first woman to serve as a U.S. cabinet member? Frances Perkins, Pamela Harriman, Jean Kirkpatrick, Nellie Taylor Ross. I know this one because I... I like American history a lot. Um, Frances Perkins was, I believe, Secretary of Labor under Franklin Roosevelt. So I will, get, I will say Frances Perkins, A. Frances Perkins, A. Final answer. Yes. It was Frances Perkins. Check for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Rob. Boy, he is right up there. Two questions away from winning one million dollars. What are you going to do with this million if you win it? Well, I've always wanted to uh, travel to South America, especially now that it's three degrees here in New York. Uh, South America is a nice place <laughs> to be. Sounds pretty good, yeah. Huh? Mark, what do you think you should do with it? Get a new wardrobe, and he's got a pair of old sneakers that have got to go. They don't own anything anymore. <laughs> heard them. So they're going. You, you heard them. All right, fine. Well, now, here it is, $250,000. You miss in here, you lose 218000 But if you, you get it, you'll have a half million dollars. We're two away from the million. You've got two lifelines left. We're all set here. Let's play. <laughs> what is the desert home of Luke Skywalker in the movie Star Wars? Both. Endor, Dantooine, Tatooine. Saw the movie several times. It's not helping me here, though. <clears throat> I'm going to use a lifeline. Sure. I'm going to call a friend. Um, okay. Jim. Jim. Who's Jim? Jim was a college buddy of mine, and we were together on a uh, in-campus game show called the Campus Bowl, right, and our fine. team did pretty well. Let's see if he knows. AT&T, please get us Jim on the line. Let's see if he can help. Yep. 
Hello. Hello, Jim. Yes? Hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC, who so wants to be a millionaire. Hi, Regis. How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? Good. Good. Now, here's what's happened to Rob. He's won $250,000, and he's going for a half million, and he needs your help right now. So when he comes on the line, he's going to read you the question and four possible answers. One of them is the right answer, okay? Yes, sir. Next voice you hear will be Rob, and Rob, you've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. Jim, what is the desert home of Luke Skywalker in the movie Star Wars? Is it Hoth, Endor, Dantuine, or Tatooine? Tatooine. Are you sure? Yep. Positive. Are you positive? I'm relatively positive. Relatively positive? Yep. Is it, is it worth uh, risking 218000 on? Tatooine. Excuse me? Tatooine is it. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> Jim's a very smart man. He knows, uh, he knows his Star Wars. Interesting, though. You said, sure, yes. Are you positive? Relatively positive. <laughs> but then at the end, he, uh, he came through. So I will um, go with Jim and say D, tattoo mine, or however it's pronounced. Tattoo mine, final answer. Yes, it is. You got it! It's tattoo!